All right, so this is part two. Okay, so we were looking at payments. If you have to figure out, so problem seven, if you have to figure out your own down payment, let's look through that one real quick. So um, Wake and Elizabeth are buying a $200,000 house. They're putting 10% down. The bank is offering a 30 year loan at 4.5% um, compounded monthly. How much are they actually financing? So what is the loan amount? Now I'm still paying 200,000. I just have 10% down. So let's do A here. And that's gonna be 200,000 times 10% um, to get how much money you're actually putting down. Okay, oops. <coughs> times 10%. That means I have 20,000. I, don't, I didn't need the calculator for that. I don't know why I, I was putting it in the calculator, but that's okay. 10% is moving the decimal one place. So I just wasn't thinking that. I just had my calculator in my hand. So $20,000 is how much money I have for my down payment. So what is my full loan amount would be to take the 200,000 and to subtract the 20,000 and that's going to give me 180,000. So I will be financing $180,000. So let's figure out our payment. So we know, I'll do it down here. I have to have room. So our payment is going to equal our, um, how much we're financing, 180,000. And then we have to do uh, <clears throat> times. The rate um, is 4%, so 0 0.04 or 4.5, excuse me. So 0 0.045 divided by the 12 and then over our one minus one plus 0 0.045 over 12 to the power of negative um, 12 times 30 years in the denominator. Oops, and we should probably have a parenthesis there. Okay, so put that in, and what's our payment going to be? Um, they say the payment is $912. I don't usually go with what they said, so if you didn't get that number, <laughs> I didn't actually do it. I just went with the key. What is the approximated total interest? So again, sees the same idea. How much money am I paying a month for this house? $912. And I pay that every single month for 30 years. So this is my contribution with interest. This is what I'm paying. So 212 times 12 times 30 is... Three hundred and twenty-eight thousand three hundred and twenty dollars. Woo! Okay, so my interest is going to equal the number we just came up with minus what the house, um, what I actually financed, not the two hundred thousand because we didn't pay interest on the twenty thousand. So 180,000, so minus 180,000 is 148,000, $320. That's how much interest, net nuts. Most people don't realize you pay about double for your house. So if you buy a half a million dollar house, you'll pay a million dollars for that home crazy. I know. So making extra payments every single month, like extra towards the principal. So year one, that's 30 years or 29 years that you don't pay interest on that amount of money. So if you make extra payments, especially towards the beginning of your loan, huge, huge savings to you. So now you can calculate the difference if you wanted. Okay. What if I wanted to look at like I want to know specifically, an amortization table tells me specifically how much money goes to the principal amount and how much money just goes to the bank. 
So that's what this is called. And this one, um, they are doing a new stereo. I think the next one's a house. Oh, no, they did a computer. Eh, whatever. It's fine. It's the same idea for a house. Okay, so Margaret buys a new stereo equipment for $500. The store agrees to finance the purchase price for four months at 12% annual interest rate compounded monthly with approximate equal payments at the end of each month. Whew. Her first monthly payment uh, will be $128.14. So you don't have to actually figure out her monthly payment. They did it for you. The amount of the fourth payment will be or less depending on the balance. Okay, yeah. So your last payment may be different. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so how are we going to figure this out? So when we start out, the balance is the full $500. All right, and then the amount we pay is going to be the 128 for the three years, um, and the interest due at the end of the month is five dollars. Where did, did they say that? The interest due at the end of the month. No, you have to figure that out each time. They just filled out the first one. Okay, and then here, this much goes to principal, and this much goes to. Um, the balance after your first payment. All right, let's figure out what's not filled in. So the next month, if the balance at the end of mine is 376 and the balance at the start is 376.86. So if the balance was that, then I'm gonna have to have that same balance. To blow it up so I can write a little smaller. Okay, and then um, the interest due. How am I going to find this interest? I'm going to use PERT. We're going back to simple within that month because it's compounded monthly. We can use simple within that month to see how much interest I have to pay. So my interest rate was... Why don't I see it? 12% annually. Okay, so our interest will be Okay, there it is. Looks like no it's not. All right. Principal right now we owe $376.86. I should have just started from the beginning cuz I don't like it when they do stuff for me. I'm like, "Meh." Okay, so that's our interest. Our rate was 12%. So times that by 12% and then times that by one month. So our time is always in years. So how do I represent one month? I do one twelfth. And so let's calculate that on our calculator. And my interest is pretty small, 376.86 times 0.12 times 112, $6.77, or $3, excuse me. Okay, that's pretty low. So our interest due is $3.77. Yeah, we gotta do one of these for a house because it's ridiculous. You'll be like, what? On the 30 year loan. So principal, um, so of our payment, now to look at how much our new balance is, we, who did you do? I don't know where to write this. Oh, well, I'll just do it over here. I mean, it is what it is. It is your principal amount of money over there. So to get your, um, how much money goes towards principal, that's what I'm trying to get, this one is you're gonna do your P equals payment minus interest. That's the idea, okay? So we'll take the 128.14 minus my interest of $3.77 and I will get $124.37. So I just made a payment of $128.14. $3.77 went to interest 
and a huge amount went to principal. $124.37 went to principal. Now, how much do I owe? I owe the previous balance right here minus the principal. Okay. So I uh, 376.86 minus 124 is $252. And 49 cents. That's what I owe now. So we're going into the next year and we'll start with that same balance of 200 and $52 and 49 cents. So we're still making that same payment. So now we do our interest the same. We're going to take our now 252.49 times that 12% annual rate times 1 12th. If they give you a monthly rate, you just use that number um, divided by 12 times by 12, excuse me, if they give you, but they don't usually give it to you that way. It should give you an annual percentage rate. So 252.49 times 0.12 times 1 12th. I got $2.52. Does it round it? $2.52. They don't round up. Okay, $2.52. My goodness, that's so small. So take your $128.14 that you paid minus your $2.32. I keep feeling like I'm going to start coughing. Whatever. 128.14 minus two dollars and thirty-two cents is one twenty-five. See how the principal amount goes up. So you're going to start paying off more each month, and your interest will be less and less as you get closer and closer to the end of your loan. So now I'm going to take the previous balance, two fifty-two point four nine, and I'm going to subtract one hundred and twenty-five point eighty. Two and I got 126.87. That should have been a 62. I just wrote this should have been a 62. 32. Did I just write that bad? This five looked like a three to me. Oops. Okay. So this five looked like a three to me. Bad handwriting with this pen. So this actually is a 62 right here. Yeah. It took off more than I wanted. That's okay. It's a 62. You might have caught that. Big fat fingers. <clears throat> that puts our new balance at um, 126. 0.67. Oops, 87. I got 67 the first time. The real answer was 87. Ugh. So I owe 126.87. Now, if I make a payment of 14. Then how much interest did I pay? Well, I can subtract those and see I paid a dollar twenty-seven more than I owed, and the full hundred and twenty-six eighty-seven is what's going to the principal, and I owe no dollars. Um, if so, this one kept the same payment. Your bank might send you a different last payment. Kind of depends. So that's a little bit tricky. The next one's on a computer. And I don't know, does it have one on the house? Principal payment. Yes. Nope, this is still on a computer. Mm. I'm going to pull one up off the web just because I'm on the web right now. So I can do it. So um, schedule example. Okay, so they have to have like maybe an image of one. Perfect. I'm just gonna pop up. Can I 
Mm, that one doesn't want to like pop to the website though. Let's see if I can get that to go. Mm, perfect. Okay, here's an example. Oh, that's not very. That's that's like a car. Oh well, it'll still show. Um. Well, I kind of want it to be a house. I didn't. That one started at twenty thousand. Start. It still starts at like. Come on, one be a house. This one. Okay, so this one starts at. Um, well, it doesn't start on payment one though, but I still it'll still get our point across here. So look at the first row that says 293. And they say the payment's 3,700. Man, that had that's a huge payment. Um, two hundred dollars towards principal. So they were paying a little extra. And then um, yeah, that's not really. I mean, it gives a good overall idea. So look at the interest. See how the interest goes down lower, 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 um, which is pretty cool. I forgot I could do this. Okay. And then I can write on it. Perfect. <laughs> See how the interest is going lower and lower and lower here. That's amazing. And the principal's getting bigger. So when you first start paying for a house, I, I know our payment was um, over 2000, like a little over 2000 a month. And we were paying maybe a hundred dollars towards the actual house principal. It's insane. It's so crappy. So, um, and you could Google some loan amortization tables. I think the examples they use with a computer buying a house is great, but I think it's a real eye opener when you look at it when it's over 30 years. So how can you get away from that? You can do a loan for less years, do a 15 year loan, do a 10 year loan, come over to the table with a lot more money and then make extra payments as you can, um, especially at the beginning of your loan where you're paying more. Because see, at the end, I'm not paying very much interest, so it doesn't matter. And this is after 293 payments. So your interest is still almost $500. Could you imagine what the interest would have been at the beginning? It would have been a lot. And it doesn't show it on here. Um, yeah. Ooh, it does right here. So look at this one. So look at this one, we have um, interest. So we are pay making a payment. So for this one, the loan was a half a million. And this is your payment right here, $2,135. And this is your principal and this is your interest. Oof. And so at the end of the year, you still owe this much money or at the end of this one payment, one month. So cumulative interest. Look at this, look at how much interest you're giving them. This is 19 payments in. Let's, you know, not even two full years, you have given them $25,000, okay? Just a little extra, you're probably like, stop talking, Ms. McKinsey, but this is important stuff, so I like it. Okay, um, and I will stop here and hope you guys can figure out all your payments looking at some um, amortization tables.